the things that we need to bring us joy, we already have them. And looking at someone else and wanting what they have is a fool's errand. Don't you know that the music should be solemn? This is Theo Rossi. This is Theory. A bomb atomically. Socrates' philosophies and hypotheses. They say that comparison is the thief of joy. (laughs) I think about that a lot. Um, And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I think that potentially we might be looking at this all wrong. We have been introduced into a society more as of late that is constantly forcing you to compare yourself. Yes, we've always done it. But now, it is all day, every day. You're comparing yourselves not just to people you know, um, who might live on your block or live around you, or family members, or even spouses, maybe even children. You're comparing yourself to people who you don't know anything about, except what they portray to you in their carefully curated existence online. So we're in a constant comparison. And if comparison is the thief of joy, well, then there's no joy. And here's why I think we're potentially looking at this the wrong way. And just ride with me here for a minute. I, like everyone else, am guilty as charged on comparing. And it is 100% and has 100% robbed me of joy in those moments. But when I catch myself, I stop and I think, what am I comparing myself to? I'm comparing myself to someone or something, a situation that someone's in that I know absolutely nothing about. I don't know how they got to where they are. I don't know what the situation was of how they got there. I know nothing. And even if I think I know, I probably don't know. So what I mean by that, what I mean by that is this. We're in this world that is forcing us to compare. You, you don't have the car that's on the commercial. You don't have uh, the money that other people have. You don't have the happiness that they're showing on their, on their social media pages. You didn't go on that vacation that they went on. And then you kind of bring it into your own life, and then it starts to systematically destroy whatever goodness was going on for that moment because you feel bad about yourself. And um, no matter how trained you are in in mental acuity, you you will eventually take that out on other people. And if there's no one else around, you're going to take it out on yourself and feel bad and depressed and all that. But here's here's something that I've adopted. And when I say I stopped before, the only person I'm comparing myself to is the person I want to be. Let me let me let me let me try to break that down. I have a vision of who I want to be in this life before the lights turn out. Before they scratch the record and stop the party. I have a vision of who I see myself as of the goals I want to reach. So the only person that I compare myself to now is that other version of myself. 
And I think every day about that version of myself that I want to be. The best father, the best husband, the best friend, successful in the things that I cho chose to pursue. And then what I do is I compare myself and say, are you there? Are you close? Are you working your way towards it? Have you leveled up on certain things to get to that next space, to get closer to that version of yourself that you created? And I wrote it down. I wrote down what I want. Now they change. Sure. The things I wanted 10 years ago, I don't want now. But the basics of it, some of the things, but the basics, the the outline, I still want. I still want to be the best person I can be. I still want to be the example. I still want to inspire. I still want to learn. I want to be a teacher and a student. So when I wake up and I get in comparison mode, I compare myself to if I'm taking the next step or I'm placing the next brick or if I'm moving towards that. And then if I'm not, then I get angry. Then I get depressed. Then I get sad. Then it's the thief of joy. But that other stuff, Comparing yourself to people you don't even know is silly. And let me tell you why it's silly. Most of those people that you're comparing yourself to, I fortunately or unfortunately know some of them. And I'm going to tell you that some of the most successful or what they, what we gauge success on some of those people are the most miserable people I know. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe they got it too easy. Maybe, um, maybe they don't know what makes them happy. Maybe they don't have anywhere where they want to go with it. Maybe they weren't prepared and they're nervous as fuck that they're going to lose it. So they're lashing out. I don't know, but I do know this. There have been people, because I have been guilty of comparison, for sure. For sure. I've met some of those people that I found myself at one point or another comparing myself to. And I kind of went, what was I even thinking? Um, so that's why I say it's silly. Only because I've seen it in real time with some of these people that I've seen people uh, talk about or wish that they had their life. And this society, remember, a lot of this is not your fault, especially with the rise of social media. This is what it is. Every day you are told that you are less than, that you are not good enough. And I'm here to tell you that you are. You're alive. You're alive right now. You're listening to this. And whoever that person is you want to be, that's your comparison. Go get that person. And, and not overnight. Not tomorrow. Maybe not even next year. But if you want to get mad at yourself, if you want to take your joy away, if you want to uh, make yourself depressed because you're not talking to stacks of money, which is ridiculous. I, I, I see people, what, what, I don't even understand. Money's not a cell phone. Or you're not driving a certain car. Or you're, or you're not, you know, in these giant movies, or you don't have a certain body, or you don't whatever. And if that's what you really want, 
some of those things. Write them down. But write them down as you. Not that other person. Because you don't know shit about that other person. A person with a nice body might be starving or taking steroids. Or miserable. The, the person who's driving the six cars that they have might, they might be getting repoed in a week because they, they owe all so much money on them because they're concerned about the looks. The people to talking and pretending cash is phone or whatever they're doing. It's silly. Invest that money. It's ridiculous. Put in a bank. Um, I, listen. Listen to me. I comparison has terrorized me my entire life. My entire life. Especially when you're fighting from the bottom. Especially when you're fighting from the bottom because all you're doing is looking up and thinking that seems much better than this. But you know what? Here's what I'll say. I've been so fortunate in my life and I'm so grateful. And the only thing that you need to do is find out who you want to be. What do you want for yourself? I've said that before. I'm going to say it again. What do you want? Who do you want to be? Write it down and then compare yourself to that person. But please, please don't compare yourself to people you don't know. And please don't compare yourself to people you do know because their journey is different. They're not you. They can never be you. It's not just physically impossible. They, it's just, it's unfair. It's unfair. You're not a billionaire. Maybe you are. Who cares? Who cares? It's silly. If you want to be, start taking the steps to get there. If you want to be an actor and that's all you want to do in this life, like I was, if there is no plan B and that's it, start the small steps. Seriously, start the small steps. DM me. I'll help you. I'll give you any advice I can. But again, everybody's is different. My way is completely different from anyone I've ever met. But what do you want? And that's who you compare yourself to. Because I, I got to tell you, especially now, you know, with everything that's going on and, and where we are and what's happening. We are taking away so much of our time and so much of our bandwidth and so much of our memories and so much of our, our life, of our joy, of our time here, of our short, short fucking time here. This shit is over in a blink. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. To reference that old show I was on, you ain't beating the Reaper. Okay? Not yet. Not yet. I'm sure they got some shit in play coming up. Some Google chip that'll keep you going, or whatever it is, but not right now. So, you're wasting time. Because it, it, I've watched it. Some of my friends, people who write me online, family members, it corrupts you because these things, this, this product stuff, this, you have to free yourself of all of it. While it, while some things, you know, it's cool. Of course, you know, I, I like sneakers. I do. I don't know what it is. I just do. Okay. I buy a lot of sneakers because I like them. Um, 
but I don't get mad if I see somebody wearing a dope pair of sneakers. I just kind of go, oh, that's cool. And I know that's a silly, silly comparison, but it's like, that's where we've gotten to. When it comes to career stuff, oh, man, it used to terrorize me. Terrorize me. And I say that word because I, I was never happy with where I was. Here I was doing this job that I, that I worked so hard to get. Might have auditioned five times. Took so many hours of my short existence here to put into it. And then I get it and it's just, you know, it's not good enough. I want the next thing. I love ambition. I, I feel like I'm, my ambition has been on overload since I was a young kid. Ambition's good. I'm not saying take that away. But if you don't know where the car is driving, it's going to crash. Where are you pointing your steering wheel? I didn't know. I was just driving to wherever, but not where I was. And I won't do it anymore. I refuse to do it. Because The truth is, um, I'm very aware of time. More aware than I've ever been. I am. And I think you should be too. And what that means is, like I said earlier, find out, draw that image, draw that person the goals you want, the things you want to do, and start taking the steps. Because, see, I've had people say to me, I wish I was an actor, but they have no intention on acting. It's, it would be like me being, you know, jealous of LeBron. I love to play basketball, but I, I don't really have any intention of going to the NBA. I just, I'm just not. That's not what I want to do. And again, you can admire people. You can admire their journey. You can admire their work ethic. You can admire their way about they go about life. But once you start comparing, you don't know the deal. You don't know how they got there. You don't know what they did. You don't know the time they put in. You don't know if someone made a phone call. You don't know anything. But yet here you are taking away your precious moments. Even if it's a minute, it's too long. If it's a second, it's too long. Because from what I can tell, nobody knows when they're going. We just don't. So can you imagine in the last few minutes of your life, you were comparing yourself to someone that you saw online who you don't even know? You want that to be your last thought? I sure as fuck don't. I want mine to be about my family or, or, or love or, 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 uh, Completing something or being better at something or accomplishing something, but not comparing myself. There's no one like you. There is no one like you. There's no one like me. Thank God. And there's no one like you. And that's the thing you have to tell yourself every single morning. And, and, and don't get it twisted. This isn't some motivational bullshit. I'm just some dumb actor. Barely. I, you know, um, I just understand and I'm aware of the traps that are being set up. And don't, don't mistake this. They are traps that are setting you up to feel bad all the time. 
on how you look, on how you act, on where you are. They are traps because the people who are setting them get rich off them. And I got to be honest, I'm exhausted of it. I'm exhausted and I'm aware of it. And you'll never know you're in the matrix until you step out of it. So this is just like I had the wake up call. Wake up. Wake up. Because this is silly. Don't compare yourself to people you don't know. You're so much better than that. You are so unique. You are so special. And what you have, no one else has. Find it. Nurture it. Plan it out. Plan yourself out. Draw your roadmap. And then get on that road. And follow those steps to you. Because we have such a limited amount of time. And the things that we need to bring us joy, we already have them. And looking at someone else and wanting what they want, what they have is a fool's errand because you're not going to get it. And even if you do get it, it's not theirs. It's your version of it. You understand? Your version is your version. I've done many things that other people do. Whatever that is. But my feeling about it, I know from conversations, is way different than their feeling about it. I act for therapy. I love it. I act, Paul Newman once said, They don't pay me to act. They pay me to wait. I love acting. I love everything about it. I love being out there on the high wire. I love trying new things. I love going into myself and thinking about emotions that I have and bringing them out. I love it. But I know many, many, many people I act with or friends with who absolutely do not feel that way about acting. Some do it for money. Uh, some don't care and just read lines. Some don't know how to do anything else. So they're kind of stuck. Some don't even want to do it. They're just doing it. Um, some who are very, very, very famous and wealthy don't want to do it. And some reason they do it. And it seems like they hate it. Ridiculous, I know. Reality, yes. I love it. I love being a father. It's hard. A hundred percent, especially when I didn't have one. It's hard. Um, but I love it because I get to be the example. And that's one of the things I've laid out for myself in this life. So that version of me that I chase, I get to be every day. So is comparison the thief of joy? I guess it depends on the way you look at it. It could be the path to joy. I guess it just depends on who you're comparing yourself to. So. With that, I urge you, I implore you, I, uh, I hope that you um, don't compare yourself to other people. It's a waste of fucking time. 
and time is something we surely don't have. Create that version of you. Draw it up, put it on the wall. And then every day, take your steps towards it until you touch it, until you are it. I don't know. That's just my theory.